Angel messages this week, pick a card. Hi guys, that is the title of today's reading. It is angel messages for this week and it's a pick a card reading. Guys, I hope you're all great and welcome back to anyone returning. Welcome to anyone new. I'm Kat. It's great that you're here today. This is a quick, simple uh, snapshot reading. Um, it is intuitive. It's also general. Um, if you would like a private reading with me or would like any more information on the readings, please check the description box below. Without further ado, let's get on with today's reading. Hi group one. Okay, so this is angel messages for this week for you. Wow, look, you've got all fire. Something is really rumbling for you this week in a good way, you know, because they're all really nice fire cards. You've got eight of fire, ace of fire and page of fire. So they're all ones. There's a lot of passion going on for you this week. Okay, their messages for you are that things are moving. You didn't maybe think they were, but they are. Things are moving. Events moving at a fast pace. This is the Eight of Wands. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. You're going to get an urge to move forwards or things are going to move forwards. If you get the nudge to move, take that action and move, okay? The Ace of Fire is an exciting new opportunity, an awakening, a heart, an aha, a realisation. It says here as well, career achievement, change your life now. This is an inspiration to wake up, to move, to take control, to take action and to move towards something new. The page of fire is very much like the ace of fire in action. So this is a new endeavour. Um, use your originality and ingenuity. So you are going to feel inspired this week and you're going to want to move, move, move. This is very likely to be in career um, but it can be just your heart and soul. So if this is, if your heart and soul and your mission at the moment revolves around a relationship, well, it may be that either. But it's very likely to be a career thing and you're going to be moving at such a pace and it's going to be really wonderful and you're going to get loads of inspiration and loads of ideas of how to really reach your goals. So this week, be open, listen, tune in. Um, don't get stuck up in your head, you know, listen to your heart and soul because it's all going to be happening there this week. Guys, have an amazing week. I will see you on here over the next couple of days on YouTube or on a private reading in the meantime. Have a really, really wonderful day. Hi, group two. Okay, so angel messages this week for you for the pick a card. You've ch chosen group two. We've got Ace of Water, the Moon and the Queen of Water. Okay, so what do, are your angel messages for this week? What do they want you to know? You've got a new emotional start coming. If things have been going kind of difficult, you know, not been going great for you recently, you've been having a difficult time, you can certainly see things changing. It says on Ace of Water here, falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship. Spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. You've got this sense of a new emotional beginning, whether this is with a current relationship, a new relationship, or a new emotional endeavor. Your heart is opening, a new emotional beginning is coming. That's why you're here in the reading as the Queen of Water. This new start is coming for you this week. The moon says that you've had a difficult time, you've maybe had to face some fears, You've maybe had to kind of um, face up to some things recently that have been quite difficult. What they're saying is, listen to your intuition. Don't be afraid to look at and release those things that you're afraid about. This new beginning is coming. If you can face your fears, let them go and, and just be open to the kind of magical and mystical and understand that your shadow is all part of who and what you are so don't run away from your fears you know be open to them if you can have an open heart and mind this week what you're going to find is the queen of water comes along and this is relationships developing to a new level a heightened sense of intuition really being able to kind of tune in and also for me this queen of water represents you being able to be this emotional connected partner so if you've been looking for a, this new emotional start, you're going to find that you can become her this week. You know, you start to move forward. So whether this is with a person or a situation, you're going to find that if you listen to your intuition and if you face your fears and kind of just step forward bravely into this new beginning, you're going to be able to move forward beautifully. 
What the Queen of Water also says, look, is um, care for yourself and others. So do be open emotionally to taking care of yourself and other people around you. It's really important at this time. But the most important thing with all of this, all three of these cards are linked to intuition. You must listen to your intuition. They're trying to speak to you, they're saying, through your intuition. There's nothing bad, it's good. They are trying to help you and support you. So make sure you make time for quiet time, spiritual practice, meditation, uh, whatever works for you, being in nature. Everyone's different. So whatever resonates with you, but make time to make space so that your intuition can come through and you can hear it well enough. Okay? Loads of love number twos. I will see you on here over the next couple of days on YouTube or on a private reading in the meantime. Loads of love, guys. Hi, group three. Okay, so angel messages this week. Pick a card. We've got the four of air, the five of fire, and the nine of air. So you've got some kind of, you've been having some difficult energies going on, I think. And, you know, you've got some stuff to deal with, but it's nothing that you can't deal with. But what you do need to do, the most important thing, is to kind of relax. That's the key. There's some tension around you. And their message this week is if you want the success, if you want the happy outcome, if you want the release from this stress, etc., you need to take a rest. You need to let some more time pass before making a decision. You need to just step back from the situation. You need to take some meditation time, some quiet time, step away from the situation for a little bit. The five of wands suggests that you've got this kind of tendency or this desire or this situation going on where you're kind of locking horns with this other person or the people involved in this situation. And the four of swords, they're telling you, instead of getting into conflict, with this person or in this situation and instead of like constantly arguing or butting heads with this person or people you need to step back and take some time away take some time out and just have some quiet time i think the issue is if you don't do this and you continue to kind of um create all this tension what actually happens is you're spiraling down and you're spiraling yourself into a negative state then you get the nine of swords this is fear this is when fear gets going and takes a hold of you and you start to expect the worst you start to have sleepless nights you start to feel anxious and fearful and you start to think of all the ways that things could go wrong or continue to get worse or whatever so what they're saying is before this happens stop with the tension and the conflicts now some of you this is happening within you so stop going over it or stop you know that tussling with ideas in your head over the situation or stop turning it around or discussing it or whatever it is just give yourself a break take some time this week just give it a bit of time and what you can find is if you don't push if you don't argue if you don't you know like sort of push your thoughts or ideas too much and if you don't have it's basically trying to sort of step away from conflict if you can avoid conflict this week and take a rest or a break and step away from the situation, next week you'll find things much easier to deal with. Guys, I hope you have a beautiful week. I will see you on here over the next couple of days or on a private reading. In the meantime, have a great day. Loads of love.